ultrasound is becoming an indispensable tool for breeders. From a technology that used to be in the hands of very few, it has now become ubiquitous. As somebody who's been working with veterinary ultrasound for 12 years now, I clearly love this technology and I wouldn't want to put anybody else off from becoming involved in it. There are, however, a few common and costly pitfalls. I'm going to go over these in two sections and tell you how you can avoid them. If you buy from an online marketplace, you probably know what you're going to get. You're looking to save a little bit of money, which is fine. You know you're not going to get any support with the machine and you know that when it breaks, it breaks. But you're going into this with your eyes open. The problem comes when you buy from a general breeding supply company or somebody off Facebook. Most general breeding supply companies will select an ultrasound machine based on how cool and flashy it looks on their website and how much money they can make in selling it. The overnight ultrasound experts on Facebook have a similar approach in that they're looking to make money. Now there's nothing wrong with making a profit, we all need to do it, but the problem comes when it's somebody's primary motivation. It means that you're spending your money on somebody who doesn't know very much more about the thing they're recommending than you do. Even more frustratingly, if you spoke to an actual ultrasound expert, they could probably tell you the pros and cons of that machine and if you still really wanted that system, they could most likely source it for you for several hundred pounds cheaper than that person is trying to sell it to you for. That means you really are paying a premium for absolutely nothing. So what can you do about it? Well, if somebody is recommending you buy an ultrasound machine, find out about who they are. And I mean more than the fact that they just run a Facebook group. How many years have they spent in ultrasound? Do they have any formal qualifications in the subject? How likely is it that they alone have found a make or model of ultrasound machine that has escaped the notice of the experts in the field? Because usually, if the most reputable companies in the industry are not stocking a product, there's a good reason why not. This leads me on to the second section of choosing an ultrasound training course. Now, dog breeders in particular are going to understand this better than anybody because everybody's now an expert, right? Gone are the days of being mentored by a true veteran in the field and maybe even passing that knowledge on to a select few yourself based on how devoted they are to your breed. Now, it's just all about going on a day course and getting a certificate to stick on the wall. When it comes to ultrasound, who do you think you should learn from? Because I'm a sonographer, I'm sure you think I will say you must be taught by a sonographer. But I'll tell you a secret, I wasn't always one. When I first started teaching this, I didn't have any qualifications in the subject at all. I was self-taught. But equally, I didn't have the audacity to try and teach breeders ultrasound on my own without the support of experts. I taught with the help of engineers and later obstetric sonographers. Several years later, inspired by my clients, many of whom were dog and goat breeders, I went on to do my master's degree in medical ultrasound. And I did that for them, for you, so that for the rest of my working life, I can support people well. And I don't just teach courses and sell machines. I'm also heavily involved in ultrasound research to make sure that I'm always up to date with the latest in what is a very fast evolving technology. Even though I have devoted my entire career to ultrasound, I still recognise the limitations of my own knowledge and abilities. I don't, for example, teach a level 2 ultrasound course that has the exclusive domain of an obstetric specialist sonographer. Now, I hope you can see that none of this is to say that only a sonographer can teach ultrasound. There are people I taught 5 or 10 years ago who are so very experienced in ultrasound now, they would make fantastic mentors. But I bet you that very few, if any of them, are out there running ultrasound training courses. The people and companies who are popping up now offering ultrasound training courses tend not to have anything close to this level of experience. So when choosing an ultrasound course, look beyond the flashy marketing or the gimmicky CPD badges and find out who it really is who's teaching that course. How long have they been involved with ultrasound specifically and exclusively? If they're teaching ultrasound as part of a general course, 
and you know it's just to get you started in those first few weeks, fine. But if they're teaching a dedicated ultrasound course, you should expect them to have many years of proven experience in that field and be there to support you as your skills progress. To summarise, if somebody is recommending an ultrasound machine on Facebook, don't just take their word for it, even if you do like the look of it. Speak to an expert, find out their opinion on it, and at the very least, find out what it really is worth. Don't pay over the odds for an entry-level ultrasound system. Know that price and quality are not always strongly correlated. If you're spending anything over £2,000 or $2,000, you really should get a second opinion and speak to someone that you know has expertise in the field. Also, ask that company to send you real images from the machine. Don't just trust pictures on a website which could be photoshopped. If you want to attend formal ultrasound training, Find out the name of the person who will be teaching that course on the day. Have a look into them. How much do they know about their subject? Do they teach just this subject or do they teach a range of subjects? And if they teach a range of subjects, how much can they really be specialised in that one particular area? You can even just put their name into Google in quotation marks and the word ultrasound and you can see how heavily invested they are in that subject over the last few years. Value yourself and your time. It doesn't matter how good you were or weren't in school, you are now an adult and you are paying for this education. Therefore, you have a right to be taught and advised properly and honestly. If you have any questions about ultrasound, email contact at animalultrasoundassociation.org for free help and advice from an expert.